Hey everybody, welcome to the latest Dub World video. We're out here at Sunset Beach. Uh, it's a little park in Tarpon Springs. Looking at a couple of unique vehicles here. We have the builder, Roger, How right you doing? here. And he's going to give us a little tour of these vehicles. So tell us about this one right here. Okay, well this uh, started life as a VW kit car probably from somewhere in the early 70s. Uh, it was called a Bentley Blower, which was a real popular race car in the 1930s. Uh, and this was some kit builder's idea of that. Um, it was an extremely ugly car, not that it's really any more attractive now, but um, it was uh, a four-seater. Um, the back seat now is turned into the front seat. Um, I chopped about two feet out of the length of the car. And then I took about 10 or 12 inches out of the height of the car. Um, I was trying to make it look a little bit more like a traditional American hot rod. Um, it started uh, probably about seven, eight years ago. I actually had it as an electric car. I had the um, Wilderness EV 72 volt electric kit in there with uh, six or seven batteries up front. Um, but with lead acid batteries, the range was pretty crappy. So the last time I decided to do something, I wanted to go back to a V-Dub motor because I have a bunch of them and um, get a little more range and actually get to go to the park once in a while instead of riding around my neighborhood. Um, it's definitely so, a unique vehicle. Yeah, thank you. It's so what do you have in it now? 1600? Yeah, or? it's just got a basic 1600. Um, and uh, you know nothing special this is just pretty much a pretty average motor I put together um, probably gets a little bit too hot back here so um, I was just gonna ask about that no cooling fins no well yeah no no yeah. really no, just no kind of intake <laughs> kind of done as a Baja motor you know there's nothing on the bottom but I got a couple little scoops on the side I've been driving it all summer it hasn't overheated so I guess it's doing okay um, I think the chassis is a 68 chassis that was um, pretty much kept standard length um, different floor pans had to make a you know a strong side rail um, to uh, give the car a little bit of rigidity it's a little light up front I got the coilovers up front just because I like the way they look but of course it makes it drive kind of terrible so <laughs> get a little bit of bumps here and that other stuff um, and the paint job is is semi-recent, not finished yet, but I'm going to try and make it look like just an old race car. It does. Fits um, the bill. We'll see you, buddy. Um, well, well, thanks for showing us this one. Absolutely. And then we've got the other one next to it, which was one that you built. That was uh, probably a project that was finished about four or five years ago. Uh -oh. um, some of your fans may have seen it at Bug Jam before or Quaker Steak and Loop. Now, for uh, those who don't know, tell them what kind of a kit car this started out as. That is a uh, 1976 Sterling kit car. Um, California Components car out of California. Um, but the original kit was designed and built in the UK, and it was called a Nova. Um, there's still a pretty big following of Novas in uh, the UK, and they have their own website called Eura Nova. Uh, the American version is Sterling Kit Cars. Um, so I bought this one kind of as a running driving car, and then uh, pretty much like I do with all stuff, I had to take it all completely apart and start over. And you've uh, done a lot of modifications to this. For those who know what they look like, you'll see a lot of changes yeah, that have been made. This has a lot of new new external parts, like mm -hmm. the, the ground effects, all the covers on the scoops, the tail, the little wing in the back, the dash is my own design, the seats are my own design, the uh, center console, um, side pockets inside, just a lot of mostly bolt-on uh, type modifications. And then other than the rear end, the rear end is completely redesigned because um, that was always, in my opinion, the weak spot of the Sterling was that you could see the Volkswagen motor hanging out the bottom, which I just kind of always thought made them look kind of easy. So this one, 
got extended down about five inches so it covered up the whole motor. Looks great. Looks great. Thanks. Well, thanks for taking us through the tour today. Pleasure seeing the cars out here. Yeah, thank you, and uh, glad to see you out here.